Hey everybody, Indiana Doug here. I want to make a quick video about something that's uh, pretty concerning. So, I have four chainsaw bars from Cannon Bar, Cannon Bar Works, okay? And they're very expensive. If you know anything about chainsaw bars, you know that they're super expensive bars. Best quality out there you know you get what you pay for thing right yeah i love the bars the, the the performance of the bars are bar none no no pun intended i mean they're the best with that said i have an example here of a canon super bar the duralite version it's a 24 inch bar 3 8 11 t steel mount which most of them are and um, I used this bar uh, for less than a tank. And I noticed that some very significant uh, wear on the screen printing here from them, okay? And I thought, wow, you know, that sucks because I want, I want this to be, you know, <laughs> I mean, the, you, you you see that and you think, oh, qual you know, not very good quality. I mean, the the reason again, it doesn't it doesn't prohibit the performance of the of the cut or anything like that. I understand that part, uh, but you know, you you think that logo would last there for you know a year or something, <laughs> at least. I mean, because I've I've purchased several um asian market bars and the screen printing is perfect on it still and i've used the heck out of them for years um and i'm not even talking about sugihara or samora bars they're great too um you know so I, i'm i'm expecting at least that quality on on the screen printing here i want people to know hey I got a, you know, a Canon Super Bar Duralite. Check that out. That's sweet, you know. I mean, no, I don't really care, but it's like, you know, you can't, you want to show off your bar. Like, look, check it out. You know, I got one. I got the best bar on the market, right? My point being, you know, you pay $250 for this bar and, you know, you, you expect that to last quite a while. Well, anyway, what I did was I contacted Canon Bar Works in Canada, where I got this bar, and I told them the issue, emailed them, and they said, hey, no problem, Doug, send it back, we'll reprint it, might have been, a, you know, a bad, you know, whatever, Maybe, perhaps the ink or something that day, or the, the drying process, curing process, I don't know, I don't know how they do it, but, but no no questions asked, send her, send her on back, Doug, so I did, pretty quick, too, uh, it came back, um, pretty quick they they rescreened it everything was perfect they put this like protective coating over it i don't know what it is but it's like some sort of clear coat type deal i'm sure and uh sure enough around a tank of gas this is this is what it looks like again here it is here it is right here you know and uh you know i'm, I'm calling out canon i don't think this is acceptable how can um, you make the best bar in the world and this process is, is not to the same standard or even close to the same standard, not even as good as Chinese standards? I don't understand that. Please, someone help me if you're listening and you're working at Canon. Um, it, it makes no sense to me. Am I going to stop buying Canon bars? No, I'm not. But am I going to expect that when I buy $250 chainsaw bar? No, I don't. You're going to hear it from me. You know, this is the Harley Davidson of chainsaw bars, if you will. If you want to use like analogy of motorcycles, right? So, well, anyway, you know, being the innovative person that I am, I actually... It developed a way to to make to make this work. You know, if, if you know me, you know that 
I've done a lot of this on, on bars and axes. And and here it is. Here's here's my version. It's not the whole. It's not the whole, you know, Canon Super Bar, but I don't want that. I'm just putting Canon on mine. My bar, I'll do what I want with it, right? <laughs> and you'd have to take a grinder to that to, to take it off, okay? You know, and it's not that hard of a process. I mean, there's kind of some little tricks of the trade, but, you know, I did that. This, you know, dude over here in Indiana did that. You know, in 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 less than a half an hour that I did I did this entire process. Okay, so it'd take less than an hour to do the entire bar. If you had a pr production facility, it'd take no time um, in the pr with the process. But you know, I mean, it's not that hard. So again, that's my point. You know, I I don't know if you. What do you guys think down in the comments? I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. You know, am I wrong calling Cannon out? I don't know. You know, am I whining over this stuff for nothing? I mean, I don't know. It's like if you bought a, the nicest ax, for example, and you know, it had something screen printed on it or something like that. You know, you'd want that to be pretty pristine and durable. You know, same deal, or I don't know. You know, I, I could use a hundred analogies for that, but, you know, I, I don't know. It just kind of upsets me because it's a lot of money, number one. And, uh, I don't know. And, and, you know, the fact that I can do this in a half an hour and that'll never come off ever, you know, I, I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to stop the video here. I just wanted to. I wanted to show everybody that, show the world that, you know, that's what you get after a tank of gas is that right there. And if you got one of these bars, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I've seen it in the community everywhere. And every everyone says the same thing. It really sucks, you know, that doesn't stay on there. Because, you know, you take that off, this could be any bar. It could be, Oregon makes a bar a lot like this, you know, and for a lot less money. So, you know, anyway... There you go. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate it. See ya.